Good morning. Today is Thursday, June 23rd, 2022, and it is day number 166 in my fasting journey. Yesterday, I weighed in at 152.2 pounds, and this morning, I am at 153.2 pounds. I gained exactly one pound after having a refeed yesterday, but that's fine. This is something that I am definitely used to after 36 completed rounds of rolling 72s. On fasting days, I generally have a loss, and then the day after a refeed, I generally have a gain. And so the rolling 72s will take care of this gain within the next day or two. Right now, I am in round 37, and I am about 21 hours in. So as a refresher, what I had for my refeed yesterday was a salad with chickpeas on top. And yesterday's salad consisted of a cucumber, which was 30 calories, a vine ripened tomato, which was 18 calories, half of a purple onion, which was 22 calories, 10 Kalamata olives, which was 175 calories, six pepperoncinis, which was 18 calories. And then um, if you've seen my channel, um, some of the videos in the past, then you know that I have um, many bags of coconut chunks that I'm trying to get through. And um, I put coconut chunks on my salad. And so this leaves me with, I think, three bags of coconut chunks to finish off. And um, in addition, I put um, 1.5 servings of chickpeas on my salad. And in total, I had about 843 calories um, for my salad. The chickpeas were 180 calories. And so um, what you will notice is that I didn't use olive oil as my dressing for the salad. And that is because I didn't have any. It was on my list of things to purchase when I went grocery shopping. But while I was in the store, I got um, a text with pictures of my little nephews. They are out of town. They're having a good time at the beach. And I was looking at their pictures and videos of them having a fun time at the beach and got completely distracted and walked right on out of the store without the olive oil. And I didn't realize I didn't have any until the salad was like sitting right in front of me ready to eat. So I just had to make do without it and it was fine. And it's on my list of things to purchase the next time I go to the store. And so um, the can of chickpeas was 3.5 servings in it. And so I have two more servings of chickpeas and I'm just gonna put them on top of my salad on Saturday. That's when I have my next refeed. And then after that, I'm gonna let that be it in terms of having um, beans and like lentils and that kind of stuff because um, it's not like um, bothering me, but I'm mildly bloated and I kind of like feel the chickpeas sitting inside of me, but not inside my stomach. It feels like they're sitting inside my colon and I feel like a nice trip to the bathroom will like take care of everything for me. Um, but I'm just gonna like let this be it um, in terms of beans. I know that they don't really work well with my body, um, but I just thought I'd try them anyways. And I know for a fact that they don't work well with me because a few years back, I went on an all bean diet. A few celebrities had mentioned that they had done this and had lost some weight, so I decided to try it myself because I do enjoy beans. And um, it didn't work for me. I did not lose any weight, none whatsoever, but I didn't gain any weight either. But I actually felt good um, on this diet, but that's because um, for 21 days, I didn't have like sugar or junk. So of course I was gonna feel a lot better um, physically and mentally. But anyways, um, so what I wanted to talk about today is that I've seen that a few of you are like starting out on your fasting and I wanted to like let you know like how important it is for you to like find some way like to make this experience like enjoyable and pleasurable for yourself, like doing something that is special to you, something that you just really enjoy. And the reason why you want to do this is because you want to kind of like connect these like memories in your brain of fasting being a pleasurable experience so that like in the future, it's something that you'll look forward to, something that you'll want to do. Because the only way for like me to like lose weight and to keep it off is for me to continue on with fasting. And um, Dr. Jason Fung says in his complete guide to fasting that you need to balance fasting um, and feasting. And so 
the only way that I can see myself continuing on with fasting is if I make it an enjoyable experience, something that I actually like look forward to. And um, there's no way I could continue on with fasting if it was like a chore or like um, just didn't make me feel good. It's something that I could do for a little while, but nothing that I could keep up with permanently. And in order to keep this weight off permanently, you kind of like have to stick with this lifestyle for the rest of your life. And so that's why you need to like do whatever it is that you can to make this an enjoyable experience for yourself. And I've had to like really work hard um, during the rolling 72s to make this a fun experience for me because after the 40 day water fast, um, that was like so miserable to me that like a few of the like things that I did on the 40 day water fast, I haven't been able to do because I kind of like associate them with like these terrible feelings that I had on the 40 day water fast. And so I have really had to work hard to make rolling 72s a pleasurable experience. And so Recently, I've been like kind of focusing every day on doing like something fun, something that I just really enjoy um, to make this a good experience for me so that I'll be more inclined to stick with it um, in the future. And so I definitely suggest that you do the same. Um, whatever it is, like whatever is fun to you, just like do it during the fasting days. And um, this kind of like works because, you know, I don't like exercise and um when I first started getting my steps in back in March, um, I did it and it was like a chore to me. And so come April, like my steps had fallen by the wayside. So um, at the end of May, I decided to pick up with my steps again. And this time I decided to like, kind of like link my steps to something that I enjoy. And so basically what I did was I banned listening to music and like audiobooks. Um, except when I was walking and so as I love music and I love listening to audiobooks and so now I look forward to walking because I know I get to listen to music and audiobooks when doing it and that's kind of like one of the reasons why I've been sticking with my steps and I've been like you know excited about increasing them and so um you need to like find some some way to do that with fasting so that you'll want to stick with it so that you'll look forward to doing it and so I just wanted to like pass that tip along to you. Um, like, you know, do it, do that now, like today, um, you know, do something really fun and just really amazing so that you will remember your fasting experience as a good experience. And so, um, anyways, I hope that you have an absolutely amazing Thursday and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.